British police have arrested the founder of the WikiLeaks website, Julian Assange, and removed him from the Ecuadorian embassy in London. The Metropolitan Police say they were invited into the embassy after its government withdrew his asylum status. He's now thought to be en route to a central London police station. He's lived at the embassy since 2012. Well, with me now is our diplomatic correspondent, James Landale. James, welcome to you. You broke this news. What do we know? Well, what we know is that this is the product of a long negotiation between the British government and the Ecuadorian authorities. They have, uh, under the current uh, political leadership uh, in Ecuador, they have become increasingly frustrated by the situation, Mr Assange being kept uh, in their embassy in London uh, for so long. Uh, they've been looking for a way of resolving the solution, uh, resolving the situation. So what happened is that the, the Ecuadorians agreed that they felt that Mr Assange had breached his asylum conditions. There are lots of, if you claim asylum, there are lots of rules what you can and cannot do. You cannot, for example, engage in political activity and things like that. So they were formally withdrew his asylum. That, uh, and they, then they invited the British police onto Ecuadorian soil, namely their embassy, which allowed the British police to arrest Mr Assange for breaching bail, this is officially known as failing to surrender to the court. This dates back to the original uh, allegations when there were extradition hearings. The United States wanted Mr Assange extradited to the United States where he could um, face questioning for the, 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 the release of all that information through what we now call WikiLeaks. Um, obviously by going into entering the Ecuadorian embassy, he breached those bail conditions. So what's going to happen now is um, he's being taken to a central London police station uh, and the police say that he will be presented before Westminster Magistrates Court as soon as is possible. Reminders of the background to this, because initially Julian Assange wanted, it was Sweden that wanted to question him on yes. sexual assault allegations. Yes, there, were, there was, as well as the, uh, the Americans saying that we want to talk to Mr Assange about the WikiLeaks revelations, the Swedish authorities also wanted to talk to him about allegations uh, that were sexual, about sexual offences that were allegedly made in Sweden. Um, and uh, now those, those charges have now um, lapsed. They have actually, but they can be, re, you know, restarted if the Swedish authorities wish to do that. But at the moment, they are not extant. So, what charges is he likely to face in a British court? Because we had a statement from the Home Secretary saying he's now in police custody and rightly facing justice in the UK. Yes, th those are for bail, breaching bail right. conditions. So, it's, it's the, the charges that he'll face in the UK are for breaching bail. His concern was that he did not want to be extradited to the United States, as you yes. mentioned. Could that now happen? It's possible. It depends entirely what the Americans. Uh, say and do. It depends, first of all, what happens through the British judicial process. Um, and then once that has happened, then it, the question remains, you know, what, what action do the Americans want to take? Do they want to push ahead with extradition um, or not? So that's the first question we need to ask them. And were there any, was there any response yet from Julian Assange's lawyers? Not as, not, 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 not as yet. OK, James, we'll let you go, but I know that you'll obviously be back with us as soon as there are more developments. Thank you. Well, as we were hearing, Mr Assange took refuge in the embassy seven years ago to avoid extradition to Sweden over a sexual assault case that has since been dropped. Our correspondent Caroline Hawley looks back on how the case progressed. This report does contain some flash photography. Julian Assange shot to fame with a massive spill of American state secrets. But it was then his personal life that put him at the centre of an international drama that's run for years. This shocking footage first brought WikiLeaks to international attention. That's a weapon. Come on, fire! It shows the killing of a group of Iraqis, including two journalists, by a helicopter gunship. A flood of secret documents on the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan followed, and then classified diplomatic cables. This is, um, to his admirers, he became a champion of free speech and transparency. In the US, he was, is, seen as a threat to national security. In 2010, Julian Assange found himself in a prison van and then in court after Sweden issued an arrest warrant, hoping to question him over allegations made by two Swedish women of sexual assault, allegations he denies. Soon, to his supporters' delight, he was out on bail. Well, it's great to smell fresh air of London again. Under his bail conditions, he lived in this manor house in Norfolk, owned by a friend. He took his appeal against extradition to Sweden to the highest court in the land. But eventually, in 2012, he lost. His appeal against extradition is accordingly dismissed.
the Embassy of Ecuador in London became his new home. He'd walked through its doors in June 2012 and asked for political asylum. It was granted. For the UK government, Mr Assange was a fugitive from justice. It spent millions policing the embassy before the round-the-clock guard was lifted. There were public addresses by Julian Assange from the embassy balcony. Can you hear me? This was 2017, on the day the Swedish investigation against him was dropped because prosecutors couldn't pursue the case in his absence. Today is an important victory. But Julian Assange stayed on inside the embassy, fearing that if he was arrested for skipping bail in the UK, he could be extradited to the US. Pamela Anderson was among those who used to go and see him, but last year his visits were strictly curtailed. Relations between Mr Assange and his hosts have badly soured. While he was inside, Ecuador had a change of government and the now president described him as a stone in the shoe. He had new conditions imposed on his stay, including that he avoid online political activity and that he properly looked after his cat. Julian Assange went as far as taking the Ecuadorian government to court over the new rules and lost. He still has some fervent support, but the patience of his hosts has come to an end, and with it, his long, long stay in Knightsbridge. Caroline Hawley, BBC News.